A landmark that draws national attention, now the target of a vandal. Someone scratched some letters on a bronze door at the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Thanks for watching 13 News Now at 530. I'm Janet Roach. And I'm David Allen. We're not sure if the letters are simply initials or if they mean something else. 13 News Now reporter Megan Perrier went to Hatteras to find out if it can be fixed. 215 years of standing tall. Tonight, the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse marred by vandals. The letters SEF now mark the face of the bronze door. To me, it's disrespectful to the lighthouse and it's disrespectful to the island and those who have taken care of the lighthouse. Ruthie Smith's grandfather manned the historic landmark for nearly 16 years. He would be very angry because he loved this lighthouse. Just like any of the keepers before him, he loved this lighthouse and he loved maintaining the lighthouse and Smith doesn't understand who would do this. The lighthouse has done nothing to anyone. It has saved numerous lives throughout the years and for someone to come in and disrespect that history. It's disgusting. Right now, District Interpretation Supervisor Jennifer Pierce says they're working with consultants to see if repair is possible. The National Park Service is working with bronze conservators to get recommendations and cost estimates for a repair. But the plan is to catch the vandal first and make them pay the price. And if found guilty, they could be possibly responsible for the cost of repairing that vandalism. Pierre says she hopes this won't impact their nearly 1,200 visitors a day. Visitors have viewed and climbed the lighthouse respectfully. Um, so this is a highly unusual incident. We believe it's an isolated incident, but there is an ongoing investigation. She says they'll keep searching for a suspect. And if you have any information that might help solve this crime, contact the National Park Service. In Buxton, Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.